From the curtain wall tool, the default settings of scheme, frames, panels, junctions, and accessories can be set. Once closed, we define the base polygon of the wall and will include a curved segment. Note how the cursor changes to a sun to let us know which side of the wall will be the outside. In the placement dialog, we set its height. The 3D view gives us a new way to edit the relationship of glazed surfaces, mullions, and openings of the complex structure. Let's enter the edit mode and modify the boundary. And it is easier to edit the scheme which controls the boundary if other elements aren't visible. A familiar fashion of editing nodes is shown. When the frame is shown, the full effect of our modification is apparent. And we can change the boundary on curved segments as well. In summary, we have many components that we can modify. Perhaps it would be good to create an opening. So after making visible the glazed and solid panels, we will remove the unnecessary mullion and the two panels will become one. A selected panel can be changed to a library part, like a door. With the door in place, it would be nice to add more glazing to the panel arrangement. You might have noticed already the grip selectors. We use a new grip selector to highlight an entire row of solid panels in one click. In this case, we changed the material of the solid panels to glass, but we could have also changed the thickness or object type as we did previously when making the door. Any two junction points can serve as anchors to accessories. For instance, a shading screen would be nice here. The accessory could extend to either side of the curtain wall, so it is necessary to define this direction. And naturally, accessories resize as the grid is modified. The frame tool is handy for adding custom frames between other frame members. And like its real-world counterpart, must connect with existing frames. Once we OK the Edit Mode menu, the hierarchy of curtain wall is unified and individual curtain wall elements are no longer editable until we re-enter the Edit Mode.